Hi Scorpio, this is Renee Michelle coming to you from the Chronicles of a Who Chronicles of a Hoodoo Spiritualist. My channel here on YouTube. Thank you for the likes, the shares, and the comments. I really appreciate it. Welcome to all the new subscribers. We see you. We welcome you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Also, I want to let you know that um, if you have, if you want to get in contact with me, the information is down below. It's like an upside down V or V like that. You tap it, and then you get to see my blog on Tumblr. You get to see my Twitter address, and also you get to see the email that you can contact me for private readings. Um, the spiritual, um, the spiritual uh, series is coming. I'm working on it. It should be ready before the end of the, of, of 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 January, and we're gonna try to do that once a week at the least right all right scorpio this is your reading for january 2010 i mean this is for january 10th 2000 january 2010 what happened to you then january 10th 2016 through to january 16th 2016 weekly reading Okay, the underlining of the reading is the sun. This is pure joy, happiness. Look, good, 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 good card. One of the most amazing iconic cards. It's the the underlining of the reading is a feeling of feeling good and feeling wonderful and being one with oneself and being in love and being happy. It's just a happy feeling. You don't have to be in love, but you can be content with yourself in life. You know what I'm saying? And open to everything and open to possibilities and fabulousness, this, 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 this. Right? So that's the underlining of the readings. Coming into this week, I feel like you guys are starting out on, uh, some of you are going back to school, some of you are starting, or you have an idea to go back to school, or you to pick up a trade, or do something new, to do something different, that is going to increase your mental status, to keep, to increase your education, increase your mind, grow mentally, and also grow in education. Um, also... Um, but at the current time, you don't see yourself going towards it because this is the the, 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 the the king of swords, right? And he's running away from it. But these are Libra, uh, Aquarius, and Gemini, right? So I don't think it's a, the, 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 the actual sign itself. I feel like it's a feeling... You know what I'm saying? A feeling that you already should have all the knowledge and things that you need to do what you need to do, right? So a minute you say, oh, wait, I should go back to school. But then you think further, you're like, no, nah, but I got it, right? I got it. I mean, it's, I shouldn't have to go for anything else, you know what I mean? I feel like that, you know, I don't know if that course will really be necessary. I don't know if not, getting getting my PhD is going to be, you know, is going to make any difference towards what I'm what I'm trying to go towards. At the beginning of the week, it's a justice card, right? And a justice card sometimes means legal, 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 legal cases, right? And as justice is done, all right? Also, it could mean money coming in, but I feel it's balance. For those of you who are, aren't involved in court cases, you feel a sense of balance coming into this week. This was a Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. You feel okay with yourself. You feel one with yourself. You feel all right. You feel fulfill a nude, you feel growth, you feel strength, you feel all of those things that make you one who you are as a Scorpio. By the middle of the week, you're overburdened, and you got too much going on, too many people, too much things, and you need to cut some things out, right? And normally, I would say this is an emotional, you know, upheaval of, of getting rid of old baggage from old relationships, but I feel you just have too much on your plate. You just got too much going on. Like, you need to take a pause, take a break, 
slow it down and see here what's going on in the middle of, of the week she's she's carrying this baggage towards that balance so it's going to create an imbalance in you when you start taking on too much stuff so you got to learn to allocate and get rid of the things that don't serve you right by the end of the week you're feeling the love i'm in love i'm happy i'm okay this is marriage kind of love this is long-term commitment this is love at its purest form and at its biggest form and this is growing into love with somebody and being happy and being one with them you see for the outcome cards right we have the empress which is often seen like as being a sign of pregnancy but i feel like she's pregnant with ideas she has innovative and in creative creative ways of going about getting finance right and she's looking towards this card which is about uh doing working so hard and doing something so innately that 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 you don't recognize the money that you're making so in other words you're doing something that you really enjoy and that you really love so i feel like at the at the whole of this week you're realizing that you want to move towards something and and, and do something that it's going to be fulfilling enough that you don't even care about the money this is something that you desire that you crave that you wish that you could have done years ago this is something that you've always wanted to do and you know that if you do this you'll be you'll feel better you'll 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 love what you do and it will not matter but you'll get it done you understand what i'm saying because that's what the eight of, of coins is about it's about you being very particular um in the work that you do so if you are creating jewelry you're very specific if you you are um building houses you're very specific and particular because you really enjoy it and you want it to be done correctly and and you you're putting out your best work and so you when when she's looking towards that that means that's where you're looking to go you're looking to go towards a career towards to towards a career that is best for you as far as fulfilling you emotionally and spiritually as well as filling your pockets Okay, Scorpio, I'll see you next week. Stay blessed. Ashe.